I've got a little unboxing here. I'm pretty excited about it. It's, uh, am I, what am I not excited about? Anything electronics related, I'm excited about. But, uh, it is from a company whose name I'm not going to try to pronounce. I'll just put it up on the screen. Because it's, like, hard. And I don't want to get it wrong. And I don't know how it's said properly. So, yeah. I can't record in my normal spot, so I had to use this, uh, power shot to record this, so. There we go, it's from a company called Koopa, as you can see right there. It is a USB display adapter. Looks like they included two of them. Peanut, yay. <laughs> you close these up so the cats don't go crazy and get them everywhere. There's the company's name, Dyna Dynamism, I don't know. So there we are, two USB display adapters. Uh, these have HDMI and VGA, so uh, I'm gonna demo that here in just a minute. So give me a second, I'm gonna open this up. It's blank, it just says USB, and this is Koopa. Dy the other company is the one that actually like, sells the product under that name, so. You'll find a USB cable to mini USB, and then you will also have the little adapter thing here. It's very light, it's awesome. It's just it's very, very lightweight. And it's cool that I have two. I can <laughs> all be able to show you the daisy chain, and it's in a different country. It's like Chinese, I think. I'm not an expert in foreign languages, so yeah. <laughs> There's the instructions. So here we are. This side you have VGA, and it's even got the little holes so you can actually like secure it in there. That's pretty cool. Most of the time they don't adapters like this don't include that. And then you have HDMI, and then you have the USB port. Now these do support up to 1920 by 1080. And so I'm gonna open up this other one. It's the same exact thing, just the second one. And then I'm gonna plug this into there. And then you daisy chain them with this part. So like, I'm gonna take this and plug it in here. And now I have two. I have two of these guys hooked up and I can have just this one going to the computer and then a uh, HDMI on this one and a VGA on the other. Let me get my monitor set up. Give me just a second. My air conditioner kicked on, sorry. Uh, and I don't want to turn it off because it'll get hot in here. But here's the deal. We got this Windows 8 ASUS X202E that I unboxed a little bit back. We've got this crappy little monitor I got on Craigslist for like 10 bucks. It's just VGA, but it works just fine. And then we have this uh, one over here that I use for on my G74SX. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this into there, and there's a little red light that comes on on the display, and on my computer, it should start and trying to install some drivers here shortly. So we're gonna hook up the VGA first, and then it just did something. It's letting me know something's happening. All right, so at this time, we're gonna try this HDMI monitor over here. We're going to hook up the HDMI cable into this uh, HDMI port on the side here. Just connect it like, that and then we're gonna go over here and turn the display on it might have got unplugged again all right so I have connected it and at this time it's saying there's no signal coming from it this screen popped up after a moment so be patient and it will pop up or you can just google display link and install the latest drivers that way but i'm basically just going to click accept and then it's going to install the software that's needed to take the usb port and put it out over your display so give this just a moment to install it looks like the monitor is coming online now and there you have it 
It says new display found Koopa. And uh, check for updates. Extend. So on this display right here, we have it set to 1280 by 1024, which is the recommended for that the screen. So now I can take my stuff. Um, I can go, drag this tab over here to this window, and I can browse. Uh, you know, SanDisk. I'm checking out this 64 gigabyte extreme card. It's got a lot of storage for your Galaxy S4 or any other phone. Specifically the Galaxy S4 because you can move apps to the Galaxy S4 as an external storage and then it'll load the games and apps really fast. But, so there you go, there's the, there's that. I mean, it's, you can change different settings. Like you can do, uh, when you go to screen resolutions, you can make it like extend, duplicate, like, uh, I'll hit apply and show you what duplicate is. Basically, it's going to take both of these displays, and anything I do on any display, it's mirrored, and it's on the same screen. I don't like that. I much prefer choosing just uh, extend, and then setting the my laptop as the main display by pressing 1. And you can also hit identify. Oh, well, actually, i got to click apply first, and then keep these changes. It says it on this one. So now when I click identify, it tells me this is my second one. Now the cool thing is, check this out. All right, I'm not sure how well you're seeing me, but you should be able to see both of these displays. So now I can take this little guy, as you can see, there's one red light here, no lights here. I can hook this one up, and now I've got two red lights. It's now telling me there is a third display, and the display link software has found it. So I can go on here and hook the HDMI cable up and that display should turn on. Sweet! And so now I can hit identify and I need to change uh, this around. I'll put the mobile display there in the middle. I'll put this display on the left and this display on the right. I will hit apply and now that I've set my my you know stuff accordingly if I take my web browser and then I go to YouTube for example I can take this tab and bring it out over here and I got both of these things daisy chained off of just one USB port so I'm not using you know like, I don't have to have two USB ports available to use both of these because you can daisy chain them. And then if you get a third one of these, you can hook it up into this spot right here. And you can keep, you can just keep this going for, uh, I, don't, I guess USB 2.0 can only go to speed so fast. So, let me go to my videos real quick. And then, like, let's watch this new asphalt video I did a video on. So, uh, this is my very, very first time playing this on the NVIDIA Shield. I just bought it. It just downloaded moments ago. And as you can see, there is a refund option. So, we're going to open it for the very first time. And it's going to do its notorious little check to make sure you did not pirate the game. And over here, I can actually set the, the, the speakers to the Koopa. Um, just read awesome. And they're saying that it works with the... Now I have audio through HDMI going to this one. And now this little green light's flashing. The red one says P, and the green one says D. So I can watch uh, someone's video, if this wasn't mine, for example. And then I could go to Facebook, or I could see what's on Amazon. I could go to Google Music and play my music through this HDMI monitor. And I'll just go over here. And I can pause the video, There's start going. the video, and then if I want to take this and watch, like, um, do I have... Alright, so I can take my tweet, tweet Deck, and I can bring this over here on this monitor, and I can view my timeline, my interactions, my messages, and I can be, I could have my email up on this screen. Obviously, I'm not showing it for personal reasons. Nine and then I can shield. keep watching this video. So I've got all it. this going on. I can be super productive. I, I could edit a video on Adobe Premiere Pro over here. 
uh, viewing my Quick tweets celebrate. and mentions over here and my emails over here. So, and it looks good too. Like as far as the display, I will go to um, the desktop and go to screen res resolution. And on the third display right here on the far left, it is 1920 by 1080, which is what the monitor supports. And to bring up that thing, I've got to go back to my main window. Unless you choose to have your desktop, you can actually choose to have your start bar in all three displays. But I don't like that because it just takes up screen real estate. So I can just bring it back over here and I'll load up this video real quick. When you talk about shoe game, that's you cannot tell me that this will not make you more productive. And you could daisy chain three, four of these up and have tons of displays going all off of one single USB port that you can just unplug and now all of these monitors are off. And you don't necessarily have to use HDMI. This monitor happens to have DVI, HDMI, and VGA. So I can go VGA on this one as well. I've got to switch the input, my bad. So now I have VGA on here. Let me see, I think you do lose a little bit of quality. On VGA compared to HDMI. It doesn't really look like it. I don't really notice a huge difference going from VGA to HDMI on this display. Uh, screen resolution. This display is 1920 by 1080p. I guess there is a little bit. Ah, it's barely noticeable if it's there uh, between going from from VGA to HDMI, which, as you can see, is plenty fast. Yeah, it might look slightly better in HDMI than VGA. I mean, HDMI is a higher quality. And you're going to get sound with HDMI, but you're not going to get sound with VGA. So there you have it. I'm going to say it one last time, and I'm not going to say it again. As you can see, just one USB port going into this Kuva display. This one's going through VGA, but you could have HDMI if you wanted to. And then I have it daisy chained into this one right here. And this one has a free port on it. So, I mean, you could possibly hook up a mouse or anything USB. Like if your computer only had one USB port for some reason, you could possibly take your little adapter and then plug it into here. Ooh, my mouse is moving. I can click on stuff right here and it, my mouse is hooked up through there. So with just one USB port, you can daisy chain as many of these as you'd like to. I'll have a link to these little adapters in the description below. This is really, really cool. And I could definitely find tons of uses for these. Then you could make yourself much more productive. One thing I want to try real quick is what if I take one of these and I hook up both to one of them. So we'll unhook that. So obviously if you're wanting to use eight, if you're wanting to use two monitors, you might as well just purchase the second one. Because <laughs> this one's saying it's not in 1280 by 1024, which is the resolution of the monitor. So and this one's not either. <laughs> so if you that's not gonna happen. Don't do that. Just keep it, you know like that and then if you want to use another one just daisy chain it and hook it up it's that simple if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it links to these adapters will be in the description below links to the website that you purchased them from links to follow me on twitter instagram vine pretty much everything will be in the description below I didn't have that one fully plugged in. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.